Bethlehem Union Station straddles what is now CP Bethlehem of the Norfolk Southern. I'm looking west on the old Lehigh Valley main line. It's now NS's Lehigh line. Trains go straight ahead that are mainly intermodal trains and trains that don't work at Allentown Yard. Trains to and from Allentown Yard utilize a connection which goes off to the right and crosses over the Lehigh River on a truss bridge. You can see it in the background just underneath the Route 378 bridge. And to the east of the New Street Bridge going overhead, you can see the remnants of the old Bethlehem steel plant. Well, I hope to see a train or two before it gets dark here in Bethlehem. This is Christmas City, Pennsylvania. O little town of Bethlehem, you've heard that song. Well, this Bethlehem goes all out celebrating Christmas with decorations and lights all over town, and I hope to get them. Across the tracks, you can see that old relic, a remnant of what was once part of the Lehigh Valley Railroad's piggyback service. I know they ran mercury trains on the Lehigh Valley that were pretty fast trains going to Buffalo with connections to other railroads there. Catch 215, that looked like a westbound empty crude oil train perhaps, with one of those specially painted uh, General Motors units on the point. To the east you can see the Lehigh Valley Railway Management Company switching the NS Intermodal Terminal here. Sounds like a couple of MP15 ACs stopped to the east. I moved a little closer to those switchers. Here they come. SW 1500s, a blast from the past. Now you can get a real good view of those deserted smokestacks from the Bethlehem Steel Company.
Right nearby is an interesting building. This is St. Luke's Union Station. This is actually part of the St. Luke's hospital chain, but it used to be Bethlehem Union Station. It served the trains of the Lehigh Valley between the New York area and Buffalo and the Reading Company between here and Philadelphia. Passenger service on the Reading was discontinued here back in 1981. I've ridden SEPTA trains from Philadelphia here a couple of times. Of course, the Lehigh Valley was gone about 20 years before that. At 3.35 p.m. we have a westbound and looks like another crude oil train empty. He's passing a local which arrived in the yard a little while ago. train is heading west down the old Lehigh Valley Main where he'll join up with the line out of Allentown Yard at CP Burn a few miles west of here. Then he'll be on a double track railroad towards Reading. Train was powered by a NS ST70 ACE and a Canadian Pacific AC4400 CW. Hey you're looking at the bungalow for CP Bethlehem. Uh, a local was working in the yard made a pickup it has NS SD40-2 3414 on the point. It's a former Conrail unit, number 6504, built in 1979. He stopped to make a pickup in Bethlehem Yard, and he's, the switches are open, and that train will be proceeding into Allentown. I'm not sure where this train comes from. It might be the Bethlehem turn, the H11, or it might be the local to Phillipsburg. What's this? At 425, we have this GE unit coming out of Allentown Yard, heading east. It's a Dash 940 CW, very common unit on Norfolk Southern, but they're being rapidly changed over to AC units. And you can see the local in the yard off to the right. And at 432, the local is leaving Bethlehem Yard and he's gonna slither through the switches at CP Bethlehem and head to Allentown, where this local is based. 
but a great day for General Motors power here, except for that light engine. curving off to the right, crossing over the Lehigh River, and he'll be going into Allentown Yard. Line for the main. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Makes you want to sing that song over and over and over again. In fact, I played it on my Bluetooth continuously. I have 27 different versions of Little Town of Bethlehem playing in my car. Beautiful. looking at the new street bridge which heads across the Lehigh River to downtown Bethlehem and if you look closely on the top of the mountain about one o'clock you can see the star of Bethlehem what a beautiful sight this is Christmas City Pennsylvania Historic Bethlehem is a gem, a real gem, loaded with beautiful historic buildings. Just takes you back to another era. Street alongside the famous Moravian bookshop established in 1745. The Moravian religion is a Germanic religion that goes back to the 15th century. Inside the historic Hotel Bethlehem, built in 1922.
you can hear, they have Christmas music piped in all over town. The historic district of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. If you want to get in the Christmas spirit, this is definitely a place to look into.